In this video, I will be explaining to you the concept of resonance and bond order. Resonance is what occurs when two or more possible Lewis structures exist for, for a species or for a molecule. So, two for a compound better said. And that results in a hybrid. A hybrid structure. So the best way to explain this is with an example. Let's see the following compound. O C N minus. So we will have the carbon in the middle and then an oxygen to the side and an and a nitrogen to the other side. Because this has a negative here, this is telling us that the formal charge is minus one. So what will result in a formal charge of minus one? If we have a triple bonded nitrogen that has a zero, and the carbon has four bonds, so that has a zero too, but the oxygen has only one bond and that means its formal charge is of negative one so that adds up so this is one of the structures this could have but there are other ways of, of obtaining this formal charge and before we go we should put this in brackets with negative so another way oxygen, carbon, nitrogen Make one bond for each. If we have a double bonded oxygen that has a formal charge of zero, we have a double bonded carbon to, to two sides, so that means four bonds that also has a formal charge of zero. And if we leave this with two pairs of free electrons, then that the nitrogen has a formal charge of negative one. So that could also be a structure. And there is one final way of drawing this. And that is if we just reverse what we did in the first one, we put the triple one right here. And we'll leave this like that. The carbon has four, so that's zero again. The oxygen has three, so that's a positive one, and the nitrogen has one, so that's a negative two. So when you add that up, again, that is a formal charge of negative, an overall charge of, of negative one. So we have three different ways of drawing this same compound, and that's what we call resonance structures. And the way you represent that is with arrows. So. A triple bond here. Let's say this is a triple bond. Let's say this is two double bonds. Don't forget to draw the brackets. So you put mm, is too big. this double header arrow. So this double header arrow in between each of them. And that's to rep that's how you represent resonance structures. However, not all of these are there's there will always be a best structure. And the way you get that is with some criteria.
the best judgment structures have to contain atoms with the with their complete octet octets. They should also have a minimized form of charge. The form of charge, of course, has to add up to the total charge. And finally, the negative form of charge is placed on the most electronegative atom. So, they must contain atoms with a complete octet, have a minimized form of, have minimized form of charge. That form of charge had to, has to add up like the, all the total form, all the three form of charges or two form of charges depending on the compound have to add up to the total charge and the negative form of charge should be placed on the most electronegative atom. So back to our example, from these three, the most significant one would be this structure, and the least significant one would be this structure. So let's go back to each. So the most significant would be the first one we drew, this one. So following the criteria, the form of the negative form of charge is in the most ele electronegative atom. Oxygen is the most electronegative out of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. The form of charges are minimal, so we only have a negative one here. Whereas in this one, we have a negative two here and a positive one. Of course, the form of charges add up negative one to negative one and the atoms have complete octets. So that's the best the best form of charge you could call. In this one we have a negative form of charge on an atom that is not the most electronegative. So it should be on the oxygen. And then again we have a positive one and negative two making the form of charge of each not the minimal and that's when you compare it to this one which has a zero zero and a negative one that's why this one is the least significant and that is resonance now another concept I wanted to talk about was bond order which is involved which is related to resonance so again the best way to learn this is with an example so let's draw CO3 to minus and CO3 to minus or carbonate ion also has three different resonance structures so let's see we have three oxygens And because the form of charge is negative 2, that means we'll have two oxygens that don't have double bonds. So that's where the resonance occurs. Just the moving of that double bond is what makes them different. So this would be a negative 1, negative 1, 0, and 0. And the same for those with a double bond. And that's how it becomes a negative 2. So always remember to draw the brackets. and the arrows. I'm sorry I don't have enough space. It's, it's really hard to, to make them to make the molecules kind of big and have space. So we have the structures and we have the 
electron pairs here. For a negative two here, and that's how you do the Lorentz structure. But I mentioned before that the final the final product of the structures is called a hybrid. And the way you draw that is you do this. Make more space so you can see better. You make one bond for each and because what changes is the double bond you make the other bond dotted lines so that's how you represent the resonance structure for the the hybrid structure for that resonance the resonance of, of that ion we do each side So you may be asking yourself, what what is this bond? Does this have a name? Because it can be a covalent bond, a double covalent bond, a second covalent bond, or something in between. And that's where bond order comes into play. Bond order has a formula that is the number of bonds. that or originate from the reference atom, you know, the number of bonds I need more space from the reference atom. In this case that atom is a carbon. Over the number of outer atoms in which these bonds are spread so in the structure we we do have we would have four bonds from carbon because one of them will be a double bond doesn't matter if it's this one this one or this one one, one of them will be a double bond so we will have four bonds and we have one two three atoms coming out of that of the reference of the reference atom so that means that's four over three so the bond order will be one and a third. Whereas something like a single covalent bond will have a bond order of one, a double covalent bond will have a bond order of two, and a triple covalent bond will have a bond order of three. So this bond order is between a single covalent bond and a double covalent bond. And well, that is how you draw resonance structures and assign bond order to it. If you found this video helpful, like it and share it with your friends.